Why'd you gain all that weight? Someone close to me passed away, and it had an effect on me. You haven't seen her since she was eight years old, and you're going to reconnect with her? Sorry. I don't like this. This isn't a good idea. I'm sorry. You say you're sorry one more time. I will shove a knife right into you. I swear to God. Go ahead. What's it going to do? My internal organs are two feet in at least. <laughs> In 2022, we saw Brendan Fraser's return to the big screens, considered one of the best performances of the year. Everyone to a man knows Mozart's name. I don't, so there goes that theory. The seasoned actor stars as Charlie, an obese, middle-aged man trying to reconnect with his estranged daughter. The emotional film was directed by Darren Aronofsky, and to play this part, Fraser had to undergo a significant transformation, and not only a physical one. So how about we dig deep into Brendan Fraser's process to find out how he created Charlie? Before we delve into Fraser's transformation, let's look back at his career and understand why the role felt so different from what he's done before. Brendan Fraser is best known for action adventures in the 90s and early 2000s, movies like The Mummy and George of the Jungle. Even though he had previously shown the world his dramatic range with films like School Ties in 1992 and the 2002 The Quiet American, he was mainly associated with adventure and comedy. But then Fraser took a step back from the spotlight. Many personal circumstances led the actor away from stardom. He had to deal with physical injuries from years of stunt-heavy acting. He went through a divorce, he lost his mother, and there was also backlash after he accused Philip Burke, the former president of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, of sexual assault. Even though Fraser never completely halted his acting career, he became a less seen face in Hollywood, and his fans began to wonder what had happened to him. So what triggered Brendan Fraser's big comeback? After several smaller roles in movies that didn't get much attention, Fraser got a supporting part in the TV show The Affair which lit up his fan base. What do you want from me, man? Are you trying to kill me? No. I, I don't know what you're talking about. It all peaked after a TikTok video went viral. In 2021, Fraser announced he was coming back to work with Martin Scorsese, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Robert De Niro. I'm going to work with Scorsese and Leo and Bob De Niro. Yes, I saw. Congratulations. That's so Thank exciting. Thank you. I think I might be sick. A little anxious. Oh, oh no, no. I mean, it's going to be fun. I, like... <laughs> you got this. You've got this. Got it. Just... His open-hearted, humble honesty about working with the three superstars made the internet fall in love with him again. The support and love that Brendan received paved the way for his triumphant return. But how did Brendan Fraser end up in Aronofsky's The Whale? Director Darren Aronofsky said he'd been looking for the right person to play the role of Charlie in The Whale for 10 years. But it was when he saw the trailer for the indie film Journey to the End of the Night that he knew he found Charlie in Fraser. It's the right actor for the right part at the right time. It took 10 years to cast this role, and I considered pretty much everyone on the planet for the role. Sam's writing would attract many actors to play the role, so that wasn't the problem. It was just about getting that feeling inside of a reason to make the film, and uh, putting Brendan in the film was a reason to make the movie. And so Fraser's transformation into Charlie began. To play the role of the 600-pound recluse English teacher overwhelmed by guilt and grief, Brendan Fraser had to wear a prosthetic suit, which used 3D printing technology to be created. The actor had to gain some weight to play the part, but it was a daily six-hour ordeal to put on makeup and prosthetics that really did the trick. Wearing the suit was a big challenge. The prosthetics alone weighed up to 300 pounds. Because the preparation for the film started during the pandemic, the makeup designer Adrian Moreau had limited access to Fraser. So the first part of the process was done online, and the actor had to help by measuring himself. Moreau said to Variety, It was difficult because having never met Brendan in person and only exchanged text messages or met via Zooms, I was asking him to take photos of rulers stuck to his forehead to ensure the scale of the prosthetic was perfect. You know it's a really tough experience when even the makeup designer calls it torture. Moreau said, We ended up shooting for 45 days and 45 days of torturing poor Brendan. By the way, that's not CG. CGI or anything, you got into a... a it's a practical. It's, a it's practical, apparatus. They say. And, yeah. What does that mean, apparatus? All the applications. So okay. different uh, modalities of body suit that conform, and then uh, another layer of clothing that maybe had cooling tubes in it, and then uh, the prosthetics itself, which were extensive. Adrian Moreau has done amazing work on this. To create Charlie's body 
in obeyance of the laws of physics and gravity in a way that I don't think we've seen portrayed as authentically in films before. If putting on the suit was this tough, can you imagine wearing it? Well, according to Fraser, that was the most difficult part. It was so sweltering inside the suit, the actor used multiple ice bags to cool down his body temperature. How many pounds or bags of ice did you go through a day? Moreau said it's those big bags you get at gas stations. I think we went through four or five per day. Fraser said, my body melted eight bags. The experience of wearing the suit was so intense that at the end of every shoot day, Fraser felt the weight of obesity in his own body and learned what it was like to live with the condition. In my case, because I was costumed in apparatus that increased uh, Charlie's body size, that when I took it off, I felt a little bit weak kneed or wobbly just because of new muscles were activated in my own body. Somehow it gave me a sense of appreciation for those who live with obesity in a way that I was not expecting. But if getting into the body of a 600 pound man was tough, what was it like getting into the mindset of such a character? It was important for the actor and filmmakers to portray obesity in the right way. So to do that, Fraser and Aronofsky worked with the Obesity Action Coalition. We had the collaboration of the Obesity Action Coalition, an online organization that supports people who live with obesity, to give us notes on the script, on the makeup, guidelines in general. Overall, they impressed on me that um, they want this story to be told with authenticity. I felt a sense of um, a, a duty to uphold that. I think that it gave me a strong sense of obligation to portray char this character, Charlie, with the dignity and and empathy that he deserves. But being overweight isn't the only challenge in Charlie's life. The character deals with guilt, regret, loneliness, grief. It's a redemption story, and Fraser had to summon those emotions to meet the character's journey. To Vanity Fair, the star said, Fraser has never played a role so outside himself, exactly why Aronofsky wanted him to go on the ride. He said he wanted an actor to reintroduce, Fraser says, and I wanted to be reintroduced. The daunting prospect invigorated him. If there's no risk, then why bother? Fraser, now 53, says, I want to learn from the people I'm working with at this point in my career. I've had such a variety a lot of high highs and low lows. So what I'm keen for in the second half of my time doing this is to feel like I'm contributing to the craft and I'm learning from it. This is a prime opportunity. I wanted to disappear into it. My hope was that I would become unrecognizable. He adds, I wanted to know what I was capable of. Aware of Brendan's range, Aronofsky ensured that all the prosthetics wouldn't interfere with Fraser's main work instrument, his own face. The main rule I gave him was you can't uh, in any way interfere or cover Brendan's main instrument, which was his face. Every wrinkle, excuse me for that. I'm taken. <laughs> every crease I wanted him to be able to use. And so Adrian was able to sculpt something which didn't interfere with his instrument. And all of the emotions that are in the film is this guy. And uh, it's, all, it's all his work. It's undeniable that Brendan Fraser did an excellent job playing Charlie, and his performance alone would be enough for Hollywood to welcome him back with open arms. But at this time of so much tension in the world, it's Fraser's big heart, humility, and simplicity that make us love him a little more every day. Now let's all hope for an Oscar next year. I was never that far away. I guess that's we'll say you can't get rid of me that easy. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. I wouldn't have it any other way, and uh, I'm grateful to be doing the job that I love. What about you? What is your favorite Brendan Fraser movie? Let us know in the comments below.